Hi and welcome to the third Spotlight video. Let's start talking about the Cyberbotics release. Cyberbotics released the hopefully final version of the artificial game environment we will use for the tournament last Monday. In this you now see that we have a more proper model of the physics of the artificial turf. This is now modeled in two layers. The bottom layer is firm and the top layer has a more spongy property, which means that the robot feet are sinking in and are less stable as they would be on normal artificial turf. We also have a um, properly calibrated physics of the artificial ball now, which should behave more in accordance to the ball on the actual physical artificial turf. And in the Darwin models that are included in this release, you now have a backlash implementation in the motors. So for modeling your own robots, you can have a look at this backlash implementation, see how this is done and transfer this to your own robot models. There is also an ongoing pull request on the WeBots official repository where they are working on the API implementation. So this is the API for your robot control software to communicate with the robot models. And this is already in almost final stage. We are currently testing this at the moment and we are going to release this in the upcoming days. If you are already curious, you can have a look at the pull request. One thing you will notice is that in the current version, the robot is still, the robot model is still sending raw images instead of JPEG as we had agreed on. This is hopefully going to change in the next couple of weeks. However, at the moment, we need to focus on the auto referee implementation. So for at least a while, you will have to deal with the raw images being sent by the robots. The second news is that the submission system is now open. So as you know, the deadline for applying to participate both in the virtual humanoid soccer competition and the virtual humanoid research demonstration is both on April 12th. You can now create a new account in the submission system or if you already have an account, you can log in and make a new submission to both of those leagues. For the virtual soccer competition, you only need to submit some details about your own team, like team leader, the country where you're from, team tags and your website. For the RoboCup research demonstration, you need to, in addition, submit a video and a short paper as it was in the last year. And the deadline for both of it, as I said, is April 12th. Remember that even though you can already submit some, some robot model files in the submission system, this is not required for the virtual soccer competition by April 12th. We only need this by April 23rd and you'll receive further updates on what exactly you have to submit during this week. As I said before, with Cyberbotics, we are now focusing on developing the auto referee. There is nothing official released yet from the WeBot side. However, we have released a first update of our Humanoid League game controller today. So the game controller can now be started with a different jar as before. So you have a game controller simulator jar. And in this one, you can now communicate via TCP IP messages and allow the game controller to be fully remote controlled without clicking any buttons. This API is not final yet. There are still some more complex communication messages like direct and indirect free kicks or yellow and red cards missing. And we'll make those updates in the coming week. If you want to check this out, if you see any problems or any bugs, please uh, just submit an issue over our official GitHub repository. As you know, there is very high demand right now on the technical committee to finalize all the decisions for the virtual competition that we have to make and a huge effort in putting all of the organizational efforts together. So we have kindly asked the trustees if we can expand our technical committee, which the trustees have agreed to. So we are very pleased to welcome Alessandra Rossi from Team Bold Hearts as part of the technical committee. And she will join the effort of us to bring together competitioners, hopefully working as well as possible for all teams 
in the current and upcoming month. This is all the updates from last week that I had. Let's now have an outlook of what we are expecting to happen this week. Originally, we planned to release a whole bunch of documents today. We had to postpone this to April 1st because we are still waiting for some final tests and some confirmation of details. So we will release four more documents during this week. The first one is an update of the virtual competition rules. In this virtual competition rules, you will now have the implementation of a forceful contact between robots, as well as some other details which will have changed. And we hope that this is going to be the final update with the final draft and that there is only going to be one final update with minor fixes after this to come. So please make sure to have a look at this and see if there's anything that you spot that still requires changes. The second update is the API between the robot models and the robot control software. As I've said, we are currently testing the implementation from the Cyberbotics release and we'll have a new updated version of the specifications and release the implementation in WeBots during this week. We are also currently updating the specifications of the robot model requirements. This will then include a description of all the files that are necessary to be included for the April 23rd submission of your robot model files. So stay tuned for this. We'll release more details during this week. And the last document that we are planning to release is a first version of the server infrastructure requirements. So we have still not finalized the decision where exactly we will host the competition. There are still, still several options that we are exploring in parallel. However, we've now put together a document that summarizes the parameters that will stay fixed, no matter which of the exact implementations we'll choose in the end. So you'll find first details on how exactly you will have to submit and run your robot control software during the competition, how you will be able to submit this, how you'll be able to retrieve your log files and the official log files. And we'll have a first document drafting this again also on April 1st. This is it from my side for now. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have tomorrow during the office hours. You will receive the newsletter on Thursday and then I'll see you next Monday. And if you celebrate, happy Easter until then.